Welcome to the Savannah. The savannah of South Africa is a hostile place. In the dry seasons, the area may go months without a drop of rain. And here, average temperatures of 25 degrees are drying out any remaining moisture. There are a few animals that can survive such conditions. One of these is the Suricata Suricata, aka the meerkat. Meerkats are part of the mongoose family. Rather than spending all their time with a warthog, they socialize in groups of 25 to 30, known as mobs or gangs. Their known terrain is made up of stone and sand. This makes it easier for them to dig elaborate underground burrows. These burrows are used to sleep, evade predators, and raise their young. These particular meerkats have more than one problem to deal with. They live in an area where there is no sun. They are in constant darkness. Predators are also lurking within the darkness and looking for a tasty meerkat. Snakes are among one of the main predators hunting the meerkat. Being low on the ground, this makes it difficult for the gang to spot approaching enemies. Puff adders will sometimes attack meerkats and are known as masters of camouflage. Even in the light, they are difficult to spot thanks to their brown coloration and body patterns. It has also been discovered that puff adders can camouflage their scent using a technique called chemical crypsis in order to hide from their prey. Sight and smell are therefore useless to the meerkats, but they do have one more trick they have developed. These meerkats have evolved large cat-like ears. To adapt to the lack of light, the meerkats have evolved larger, movable ears. This adaptation helps them find food sources such as insects in the dark. It also helps them avoid predators. Previous adaptations to help locate food and avoid predators have largely been based on increasing their vision, such as dark circles around the eyes to prevent sunlight glare and having a sentinel meerkat to warn of approaching dangers. Both of these adaptations are of not much use in constant darkness. To make up for this, the meerkats have needed to adapt in other ways. The larger surface area of their ears means that more sound is able to be captured and detected. This means that the quiet sounds of predators and prey that would have been previously undetectable are now able to be heard. The movable rotating ears means that the meerkats can more accurately pinpoint the source of the sounds. Both of these adaptations mean that the meerkat can more effectively and successfully locate sources of food as well as avoid potential dangers. Meerkats are omnivores with a fairly varied diet. They will eat an array of food sources including fruits, insects, other small rodents and even scorpions whose sting they are immune to. The ability to rotate their ears is very similar to that of mice. With such sensitive ears, the movement of a predator can be difficult to pinpoint. By rotating their ears, they can reduce the intensity of the sound in order to distinguish exactly where it is coming from. They have also slightly adapted their behaviour to suit their regular surroundings. They no longer rely on one sentinel meerkat to keep watch. Instead, they will all pay close attention to sounds of incoming predators and communicate with each other through numerous calls that differentiate the direction and urgency of the threat, allowing them to relay information such as whether the threat is near or far and if it is coming from the sky or ground. All of these adaptations have allowed meerkats to survive in one of the harshest environments on Earth and shows their remarkable resilience to change.